blade and quill. Hello everyone, this week I am going to show you a few more things that you can do using Krita's vector tools. Let's start. Grab the Edit Shapes tool. Click on the path where the new point will be added. If you look closely, you will notice that as you clicked, the two opposing nodes are highlighted right away. Depending on the shape you are working on, handles may appear as well. When the nodes highlight with or without the appearance of the handles, it means that you have activated the path. Using your cursor, pinpoint the exact location where you want to add the new point and double-click. The point is added. Let's do this again. Click on a path to activate it and double-click. You can also use this action button located in the Tools Options Docker. To add a point, as usual, click first on the path and then click on this button, Insert Point. If your button is not located exactly where you want it to be, you can always slide it. To remove a point, just click on the node and hit the Delete button on your keyboard. You can also use this action button located in the Tools Options Docker. To remove a point, click on it first, and then click on the Remove Point. Let me show you how to break a path. Click on the node that you want to separate from the shape. In the Tools Options Docker, click on this button, the one called Break a Point. Now go back to the node and separate it from the rest of the shape. Let's do the opposite now. Here we have an opened shape and we want it to close. Using the Edit Shapes tool, grab the nodes, place them on the top of each other. With the left mouse button, highlight both areas. Go to the Tools Options Docker and click on this button, the one called Merge Points. And voila! you have closed this shape. Grab your Select Shapes tool. Click on the shape to select it. Right-click. A new window appears. In the menu, select Transform. To flip your image to the right or to the left, select Mirror horizontally. To flip your image up or down, select Mirror vertically. In this menu, there are also a few options to rotate the image clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's say that you want this shape in the front of this one. Click on the shape that you want to bring in the front. Right-click, select Bring to Front. In this case, we are going to do the opposite. We want this shape to go to the back. Same thing here, click on the shape first, right-click and this time select Send to Back. Finally, let's merge all these shapes into one. Click anywhere away from the shapes and with the left mouse button, drag the selection above the shapes. Now, as you can see, all the shapes have been selected. To make sure that the selection did not miss anything, test by moving the entire group around the canvas. All right, we are good, we can continue. Right-click. Here, select Logical Operations and then click on Unite. And you are done. You have merged all the shapes into one. Using the different tools and techniques that I showed you last week and today, you should be able to start experimenting more and create fun cartoons or designs. 
The reason why vector images are great is that you can move part of one image you created and create as many versions of it as you want. In this example, I started with one mouse, moved parts around and created this couple. So now it's your turn to try. I'll see you next week and show you more vector tools and techniques. So until then, have a wonderful week. Bye.